What does an addict look like? The addict isn't always out there. She's sometimes in here. The face of anorexia is a terrible thing. It's not a glossy model in a perfume ad or a delicate patient, emaciated yet beautiful. It's a cadaver cloaked in sequins modeling her new clothes. I'm fine, it says. Everything is under control. Maybe other anorexics look in the mirror and see a fat person. Maybe others pursue size zero perfection. For me, this was never the goal. In some senses, I wanted to appear as hideous as I felt, to write on my body what I could barely whisper aloud. But the more I tried to escape, the more I became what I most despised. The good girl turned bad. More people die from anorexia than any other mental illness. Who are these people? Girls, boys, fathers, grandmothers, your friends, your work colleagues, your classmates, your families, maybe even you. The problem's not out there, it's here, and it's in our churches. But people rarely talk about it, and when we do, we don't know what to say. You see, the good girl won't break out, at least not at first. We won't take drugs, we won't get drunk, we won't make a scene, but we might well break down. This is my story. I swore I'd never write it, but I'm tired of living in the dark. And there are millions out there just like me. It points to a God who speaks into the blackest darkness, a God who comes for the good girls as well as for the bad. <laughs>